Hi, I'm Paul Modiano from Logical Developers, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to filter data using session variables. To begin, I would like to explain what a session variable is and how filtering data by a session variable can be helpful. Very simply, information that is stored in a session variable is temporarily stored as a cookie on the client machine. The moment that the browser session expires or if the user closes the browser, that session variable disappears. In order to show you how session variables can be helpful, I've set up this IronSpeed application based on the familiar Southwind database that's included with IronSpeed Designer. And I have enabled security and I have allowed the show orders table page to be the default page. So now, after I run the app, I get to the sign-in screen and I sign in as one of the users in the sales rep uh, table. Doing so, I get to my order table page and you can see there are a whole bunch of records here, but the ship region is blank. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up filters so that we sort by ship region and it's still blank so I'll sort the other way and here you'll see that uh, now I show records where the shipping region is not blank so you can see we have a whole bunch of different shipping regions here if I go to the next page you'll see yet uh, more shipping regions now let's say we wanted to uh, filter by the users shipping region because every sales rep record has a shipping region associated with it. What if we just wanted sales reps to see orders that occurred within their region? I'll show you how to do it. We're back in our iron speed application and we now need to do two things to make this work. First we have to set our session variable when the user logs in to equal the region that that user belongs to. That's number one. Number two, we have to filter that show orders table list by that session variable. To begin, I will open up security and you could see uh, if you have enabled security you're going to always see a sign in .aspx screen. What you want to do is open that up and look at the .vb or c -sharp file, whichever you are using. I'm using VB in this case. And what you're going to want to do is add one line of code to this page. And I always suggest that you use Visual Studio to do so because you avail yourself of IntelliSense and you can find out whether you've made a mistake or not in your code. It's the best way to edit .NET code. So now we have our application open in Visual Studio and I'm going to open up the section one and I'm going to scroll down until I find a particular routine which is here. Redirect on success. This is executed only when someone successfully logs in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste a piece of code in there. And then I'm going to explain to you what this code does. I'm going to walk you through it. I set the session variable called sales rep region and I say to it it is equal to and what we're using here are iron speed classes that were generated that allow us to look stuff up in the database directly so it saves a lot of time I don't have to set up connection strings or do anything I could just ask iron speed to do the query and so I say sales rep table which is an object that was created because we had a table called sales rep and I say get record where the sales rep ID is equal to system utils get user ID to string so this becomes the user ID dot region and of course I convert it all to a string so the moment the user logs on this will be executed and our session variable for sales rep region will be populated with the region in question. The last thing that we need to do is apply our filter to the show orders table page. To do that I'm going to go into data sources 
and go into my orders table control query and I'm going to edit it and I'm going to add a where clause I'm going to say select order ID where ship region is equal to and I'm going to click formula I'm going to say equal session sales rep region and we are done okay so after building the application in iron speed we run it and I'm gonna log in as the same sales rep if we look through the records we could see that the ship region is now entirely Washington because that is the ship region in the sales reps record and there's nothing else there if we go and we try to verify that this is working pro properly by signing out and signing back in as another user we see that this user who is from Oregon only sees orders shipped to Oregon of course this is but one of countless examples of how filtering data by a session variable in iron speed can be helpful I hope that you found this video to be useful. For more information, you could visit logicaldevelopers.com or you can visit the forums and the knowledge base at ironspeed.com. Thanks for watching.